on the 4th of July 1946, a number of female guards of one of the most sadistic and horrific concentration camps of the Second World War were taken to the gallows in front of a huge crowd. Each of these women were known as some of the most evil female guards that worked for the SS and inside of the concentration camp systems, and they were known for slaughter and torture. They would make the lives of prisoners a misery every single day, and they would persecute and cause a huge amount of suffering. Sturtov concentration camp was found in Gdansk, and it was a place which would become known for executions and terrible treatment, and many of these young women who were condemned had been brainwashed since they were young by the Nazi beliefs and ideas, and they became inside of Stutthof murderesses, torturers and beasts. Join us today as we look at the horrific crimes of the female guards of Stutthof concentration camp, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Many of the most terrifying and savage guards who worked inside of Stutthof concentration camp were women and female sadists. Around 1944, the German army was suffering heavily following being pushed back by the Red Army after the Battle of Stalingrad and also with the impending Normandy landings, which would make things worse. Because of this, many of the male guards were sent from the concentration camps to go to the front lines to fight, but because of this, the SS would advertise in cities and towns nearby for women to join the SS retinue and go and become concentration camp guards. Inside of Gdansk, there were regular advertisements which offered good pay to women and a chance of career advancement and promotion. And with this, women from all walks of life came into the camps to work, from previous teachers to hairdressers, with many drawn in by the attraction of more money. But the women would then become evil brutes who would inflict a severe degree of punishment onto other women and also men. One of these young women who joined was Jenny Wanda Barkman, who would become known as a beautiful spectre. She became one of the most barbaric and sadistic female guards of Stutthof, and she would take part in the selections of inmates to go to the gas chambers. Those who were not fit enough to work inside of the industries and factories would be sent to the gas chambers, with guards such as Barkman deciding their fate and playing God with their lives. Jenny Barkman was also known for beating prisoners to death with her bare hands and with weapons such as truncheons and sticks. Prisoners later said that many other women did this and they often beat prisoners to death. But Stutthof was the first camp set up outside the borders of Germany during World War II, and it opened its doors on the 2nd of September 1939. It was a camp which would be used to cause terror and inflict fear onto the Polish people, and many people who were considered the intellectual part of Polish society were held there. Teachers, religious figures and politicians were rounded up as soon as the German army invaded Poland, and the SS lists, which had been drafted, of who to arrest were put in place. The first prisoners held at Stutthof were the ones who would be used to build the infrastructure of Stutthof and the initial barracks and other buildings. It was where many civilians would be kept and forced to work, but over time it transitioned into a concentration camp with execution sites inside of it. The first 150 prisoners arrived to build, but within weeks of the Second World War continuing, many more Polish people found themselves imprisoned inside of Stutthof and they were forced to work in some of the war industries, creating ammunition and weapons for their enemy. But as the Germans expanded their territory and invaded different lands, prisoners from all over Europe arrived at the camp in Gdansk, and many had been sent to work there from Auschwitz. It's said that 110,000 people passed through the barbed wire fences and the gates of Stutthof, and these people were from all different walks of life. They were resistance fighters, Soviet prisoners of war, and those who were mentally ill, and communists who arrived for punishment and eventual extermination through labour. There were many other subcamps that served Stutthof, however the conditions were truly awful and shocking. Disease was rife, and there was poor sanitation and a severe overcrowding problem, and prisoners also died from starvation. There were many deadly typhus epidemics in 1942 and 1944, which caused a huge degree of death, and prisoners who had caught the disease were often sent to the camp's gas chamber, which despite being very small, was very deadly. The SS guards and doctors would also pick those who were sent to their deaths, and lots would be executed in a variety of different ways. There was also a terrible firing range, where resistance fighters were shot, and the gas chamber claimed the lives of around 4,000 prisoners, including many women and children. The evil treatment of prisoners inside of Sturthof continued until January 1945, 
where the camp would be evacuated due to the impending advancements of the Red Army, who were rampaging quickly through German-occupied lands. 50,000 prisoners were force-marched out of Stutthof, and 5,000 walked to the Baltic coast. They were then forced to walk into the Cold Sea, where they were slaughtered by a machine gun, which was sat on the beachhead. More prisoners were sent on death marches, and these took place in the freezing cold weather, and prisoners did not have warm clothes, any food or water, and if they were too slow, they would be shot immediately. Around 25,000 people died during the evacuation of Sturthof, and there were only 100 prisoners left at the camp when it was liberated. At the end of the Second World War, a significant war crimes trial took place to punish those guards at Stutthof who had been captured. Many of these guards in the first Stutthof trials were women who had tried to flee into the local area of Gdansk, and some had even tried to return home to their pre-war lives as if nothing had happened. The first trial brought six women on trial, who were accused of being terrifying female overseers inside of Stutthof. These were Jenny Wanda Barkman, Elizabeth Becker, Eva Parides, Wanda Klaff, Erna Beilhart and Gerda Steinhoff. The courtroom heard a lot of testimony regarding their conduct, and it showed how brutal these women could be. Erna Beilhart would be spared, and she was deemed to have left the site when she found the brutality of other women too much. She did not feel comfortable inflicting such suffering. Many of these female guards did not take the trial seriously, and some, including Barkman, would flirt with the guards and seemed more interested with her hair than she would as she laughed through evidence being given. But Jenny Barkman, Eva Paredes, Gerda Steinhoff, Wanda Klaff and Elizabeth Becker were all sentenced to death. Many of these women did not have experience inside of other camps such as Auschwitz, but they would be known for killing inside Sturthof and sending inmates to their deaths in the gas chambers. Some had also only worked at Sturthof for around a year, following the SS's appeal for workers in 1944. The executions of the female guards of Sturthof concentration camp took place on the 4th of July 1946 on Biskupia Gorka Hill in Gdansk. There were a number of other male guards condemned, but a crowd of around 200,000 had come out to see the executions of these women and men. The gallows which had been made were huge to ensure everyone had a good view of the hangings. The gallows were imposing, and the women were all brought out in front of the crowd. The first woman who was executed was Jenny Barkman, and she was brought under the gallows on a truck, which was reversed below the structure of death. Whilst here she was stood on a stool, and an executioner read out the death sentence and reminded the crowd what she had done, and with this the noose was then secured around her neck. Following this the truck then drove off, and she was left swinging from her neck, and within minutes Jenny Barkman had died in front of the huge crowd, as her body was seen twitching as she struggled for a few minutes before she turned limp. Her shoe came off during her execution, and the other executions of the female guards continued in the same manner and way. There was even a female executioner or two who were used to execute women such as Wanda Klaff. For those people who witnessed the executions of the female guards of Stutthof concentration camp, it was justification for the evil committed inside of the camp. These women had brutalised inmates, and many of those who witnessed the executions were former prisoners of the camp. But the crimes of the female guards were endless, and the fact that many of them tried to hide at the end of the conflict signalled that they knew what was coming. They were responsible for the crimes of the camp, for the slaughter, and for the torture they caused every single day. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.